Where did this fool come from? He should know to drink slowly when he's thirsty. Ma, I found this guy. Can he be my slave? <sighs> He's not from the Prairie Lands. He's bad luck. Huh? That's why I wanted him. He'll know about the other areas. Novaland has nine prefectures. I want to know how people live in places I've never been, what they look like, things like that. Shupong Haye, you're 13 years old. Now keep this in mind. You're the future lord of the Shufeng clan. Your duty is to lead our people to find suitable grazing land, then marry a strong wife and have children so that the Shofeng clan's bloodline may continue. Can you remember? But Pa said since we were born to live on vast lands, we should keep a broad mind. Bring me a salt sack. Ma, this is all the salt we have left this year. Give him water four more times before dark. Not more than half a bowl. So I get to keep him? You'll need to ask your dad. been hunting a lot more frequently these days, yet you bring back less each time. If this goes on, it won't be long until we all starve. Our horses are old. Even if we shoot an elk, we can't catch it. We can only watch it escape from us. What did you say? 
Is everything all right in the clan? <sighs> what did you just say? Did you go there? You have to tell me right now. Please answer me. No, I didn't. Good men of the prairie must never lie to their wives. Yes, I was there. But it was all right. I only rode a bit close to it. I saw those black trees. <laughs> Say more. Please don't meddle with those things again. have been strange. It's been snowing in June, and the grass here won't grow. There are no animals to hunt here. I just went there to try my luck, see if I could find something. But little did I expect that animals avoid it too. Please don't talk about it. I don't want to hear of it. Kill a sheep. Kill a sheep? What should we do when the royal court asks for them? We are to offer 1,000 sheep, 500 cows and our young horses as an annual tribute. We've lost so much of our flock to starvation. We don't have enough to offer tribute. How could we kill a sheep? If we don't meet the quota, we'll be seen as rebels. They'll kill us all. Hmm. Hmm? My name is Shuo Feng Hei. What's your name? Uh, I'm... I'm Ju... Ju Seven. I caught you. So you're my slave now. I'm the son of the Shuo Feng tribe leader. <coughs> you should be honored to be my slave. How far to the Black Forest? On horseback? Seven days? On foot, certain death. You'll die of thirst before you reach water. But it doesn't matter. You'd already be dead before you wanted to go there. Nova Land will be destroyed. We will all die. I've seen tears streaming from everyone's eyes. We must go to the Black Forest. We must find that person there! We must find that person! Hey, Dad. I want to make him my slave. He can tell stories. He's skinny, not a laborer. He's no use to us. Ditch him. Come on, show my dad what you can do. You see, the disaster began on the evening of June 19th in the second year of Yongning. 
That night, the sixth son of the Duan Emperor was born in Tianqi Royal City, Lu Yunsheng. You're from Tianqi City. The Emperor tried desperately to hide the secret of his son's birth. But from that day on, winter in your Han province came earlier and earlier year by year. Torrential rain hit Yue province in the south. Islands appeared because of earthquakes on the coast. Tsunamis swept across the coastal provinces. Two counties in the east saw great fishing villages turned into wasteland. With refugees everywhere, a terrible famine swept through Nova Land. So what's the secret all about? The mother of Mu Yuancheng is more than just a spirit. Cut this man's yeah. tongue out of his mouth! Throw him out! We've never seen this man before! Yeah. But the Maru family hides a bigger <laughs> secret than I'll that! You. It is the fate of a newborn young master to get back what the Muru family lost over 300 years ago. Uh, run! Uh, no! Move! <laughs> Do you want to kill our whole tribe? Uh, 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 Bad news, it's Muru's Iron Cavalry. Hey! Shut the door, hurry. What did this man say? He was in a coma! He never spoke! And that heavenly God sees me! I will not deceive the owner of the prairie! <laughs> I've heard many people say that swords can't kill you. Then you can try and burn me to death. <laughs> Worse than I 
going to be destroyed! Everyone! <laughs> the Shuofeng tribe harbored a fugitive, so the tribe's property shall be confiscated. Don't do anything foolish. I'm gonna get our sheep back! You're going to get our sheep back. You don't even have a horse. How will you snatch anything from the Great Duan Empire's fiercest cavalry? I'll risk my life! Really? If you're dead, who'll get the sheep back? Come on! The giants have always lived in a cold and barren Shang province. Yet they never once stopped searching for a better dwelling place. Three hundred years ago, the fiercest team of the giants built an altar here. They had planned to invade the human lands. Our ancestors from the north risked their lives to defend our lands. All of the grown men set out for war. This was the battlefield. Did we win? Yes. Our ancestors killed the invading giants and took back our lands. The glory of the northern continent was known to all of Novaland. However, that battle cost us almost all of our best warriors. Shortly after, we were defeated by the joint forces of the Mu Yun and Mu Ru families. We were split into eight major clans. Eight major clans. We're not just eight different surnames. We're different branches of the armed forces. Armed forces? That was what my father told me. The eight major clans once fought alongside one another. The Longke clan has archers. The Shuofeng clan and Helan clan are cavalry. The Kusu clan are infantry. The Suqin clan have combat engineers. The Danyo clan has mystics. The Hosho clan understands the language of horses and tames them. The Suoda clan is skilled in commerce and manages the rations. Since when did the eight major clans and their warriors have to kill one another should their paths cross. This I do not know. The blood feud between the clans is old. We don't speak of it. Our ancestors once thought of bringing the eight clans together. However, our clan was driven out from the central Han Plains to the northern steppes. 
Life here is too hard. Shuo Feng was once a surname that was feared. And now... We're the only ones left. If I can't restore our clan's name and the North Continent to glory during the time I have left, I'll leave that to you. Remember this. Don't risk your life needlessly. Those are the northern birds. They're returning home. Nanju, cook all the food we have. Everyone must eat their fill. There must be nothing left. In three days, the royal army will come to collect our cattle. All we have to offer are the bones from the leftovers we ate and their excrement. And those who aren't journeying south with us will leave their corpses. Lordship, where are we going? We're going to Central Han north of the Northern Plains, to Tiger Paw River. There's a valley there. It's sunny all year round. From June to September, it rains. From December to February, it snows. In October, the winds blow. On the slopes, there are shrubs and fruit trees. Also, there's rich soil. You can all hunt. You can farm and run ranches. You won't have to move around year after year. That's where we'll go. They left us such a great place. No, they didn't. It belongs to Su Chen Liafeng. Su Chen Liafeng? He's a miner for the East Continent. He creates ironware. We're going to steal his land? Not stealing it! Taking it back! That was our ancestral land. It belonged to the Shofeng clan. It belongs to us! The drug live! The sober die! The drunk live on as slaves! The sober fight to the death! Those who are slaves drink up tonight! But the fearless Come with me! Your lordship will follow you alive! Grandfather, this face painting's for the dead. Why do you want it? Uh, I'm far too old to travel with you.
Your lordship. Huh? All those guys against one family hardly seems fair. And Hulung clan family has held them off so far. They're quite capable. I wonder why they strayed away from their own people. Why don't we help them? No need. We'll just watch from here. Once the fight is over, we'll rush in to snatch anything useful. Should be easy. How can we do that? God Panda says, in this world only the fittest survive. The weak have no right to waste the North Continent's resources. But there's no definition of what is weak or strong. Only one thing could make the weak become powerful. <laughs> what is it? It's fear. Your Lordship, where are you going? I'm gonna stretch my legs. I'm Hulan Dao, Lord of the Hulan Clan. Who are you? Shoufeng Da, of the Shoufeng. Clans are brothers. again <laughs> uh, we've been competing for like a month you always win huh uh, did you get it wrong uh, hey admit it you lost don't be a sore loser <laughs> so huh yeah could you teach me to shoot what do you say sure you beat me in archery but not wrestling <laughs> oh, all right Chen Yen, you can do it <laughs> uh, bring it on bring it on then uh, wait up Discovered a campsite. Okay. 
Where? That way. They had wine. We'll wait. How long do we have to wait? Morning. People usually sleep well after drinking. Show Feng Hei. Do you remember the story I told you about giants? This battle axe is made out of a giant's femur. I hope that you can lead the Show Feng Clan to the life they sought. Cian.
Stay here. No one escape. Thank you.